Boxing Gym in 2006 to win a Bassmaster Angler of the Year. Go out to life at Canales! You know, this, is, uh, this has been a really strange week for me. Um, you know, the week started with the last event of the year, the AOY Championship on Mille Lacs Lake. You know, it was an event where I didn't really have to do well because I'm already in the Classic. And that was a huge relief. But it's the last event of the year and you always want to end the year on a good note. So I had high expectations. It's a small mouth event. Went to the tournament excited to end the year on a good note, moving to the top 10 in AOI. It was just one of those weeks that went really bad for me. You know, nothing worked. Um, it's like a bad dream. I mean, you're on the best small mouth fishery in the world. And I got six pounds. It's actually embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Well, you gotta keep going. Unless I try to weigh in this giant block of ice right here, maybe they won't notice. Ah, that's not that much. That's only like two pounds. <laughs> Man, let me tell you, this is uh, the life of an angler, life of a tournament angler. A lot of ups and downs. Had a lot of ups this year. This is a down. We're gonna film tomorrow. We're gonna be fishing on the upper Mississippi River. I only want one thing tomorrow. Revenge, Revenge baby. baby. Come on, let's go! One of the ways I can get out of that funk and one of the ways I can move on mentally is to go out and catch fish and go out and have a better day. And you know, it's the gift and the curse of the sport. You know, the curse is, is dealing with that negativity, dealing with those downs. But the gift is the ability to go figure them out again and have a good day. And so coming into this Going Ike episode, um, getting an opportunity to fish with a good friend of mine, Dan Quinn from Rapala, I need to go out and smash these fish. I got mixed emotions because I really want to be here, but I'm really pissed off. And the only thing that's going to snap me out of it is catching that first big smallmouth. You know, the one thing on my mind is to go have revenge. I'm Dan Quinn. I work for Rapala in the marketing department. I manage our pro staff and work with our media partners. So in this job, I, I get to do a lot of work with Mike. We're around each other quite a bit, but it's pretty rare that we actually get to go fishing together, maybe once a year. And with the Bass Elite Tournament on Mille Lacs this year, Mike said he wanted to stay an extra day or two and thought maybe we'd have an opportunity to film a show. It was a pretty cool opportunity to take Mike actually right where I grew up in the Brainerd area. And uh, we've got an unlimited amount of lakes, phenomenal fishing, for a variety of species and right in the heart of Brainerd is the Mississippi River and has a tremendous population of smallmouth. And this is a real world-class fishery and it's a hidden gem. So you know our game plan is to go fish a very typical fall migration that happens with these smallmouths heading to their wintering areas and the fish stop in very predictable areas. River bend, outside bend areas have a hard bottom. You know, our game plan is DT10s, these transition bends, and we're gonna smash right, listen them. Listen everybody, I'm here with Dan Quinn, good friend, Rappel, a pro staff guy. Listen to me, just came back from a tournament on Mille Lacs. I'm not gonna lie to everybody, I sucked! Dude, I sucked, I had a bad tournament. So last term of the year, it was terrible. Today's about revenge, dude. Can you help me get revenge, please? I think we can. I we can get can. revenge on smallmouth today. Let's get revenge. All right, come on, let's go. <laughs> That's a good one, Dan. It is. You know, we launched the boat, we've too. got a short little run. It's probably, gosh, it's probably a 10 or 15 minute Ooh. run. What? And we're gonna oh start God. on one of these dude, classic banks. Up. And I mean, we pull up, I don't know, Dan took, Dan's taking three casts and he, he, he already catches one, he catches a three pounder. Dude, I'm looking at him, I'm like, Dude, this, is, this day is gonna be easy. We're just gonna wreck these fish. Nice smallmouth, man. I'll take him. Look, how, look at the color on him. You know, he's, he's a little washed out because I guess the watercolor, you know? Red, white belly. Yeah. All right. Dude, super quick start to the day. I mean, that's amazing. Oh. Oh. Uh oh, I got a bite. That's a big one, dude! Get out of the tree! God! I got it! Oh, God, it's a beast! Oh, sweet revenge! <laughs> sweet Louis of revenge! Oh, it's a beast! Oh, sweet Louis of revenge! <laughs> 
sweet Louie of revenge. That's Louie's fish. A sweet Louie of revenge, yo! <laughs> Look at that thing. I got you, don't you do it. I got you, sucker. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. I told you. Now why didn't your friends bite last week? It feels so good, man. I gotta tell you, I've said it before, and I'm gonna say it again. DT10 in his face! That's the thing about fishing, man. You have you have a bad day, you have a bad tournament, and you come back out and catch them, dude, you're just you're instantly revived. What a cool sport. Look at that thing. That's an honest to goodness three, three plus. Oh, for sure. Three and a half? Absolutely. Look at that thing. God, look at that, look at it in the sun. How pretty that fish is. Mm, I love you. Thank you. Thank you. I wanted to punch your face yesterday, but I'm going to kiss you and let you go now. <laughs>